a telescope is a very expensive item to build. I mean, you, most of us think of telescopes. We know that you kind of grind them and polish them. And uh, uh, figuring a telescope, that is getting the exact correct surface that will allow you to focus the light or the x-rays to a, to a fine spot is a very tedious, uh, is a tedious activity, it's a time-consuming activity, and it's an expensive activity. New Star uh, is meant to be a cheap telescope compared to, say, a Newton or Chandra uh, mission, which might cost one to two billion dollars. Uh, this is a, a very low-cost mission, and in fact, uh, NASA uh, has these class of satellites called explorers, which are uh, meant to be uh, very inexpensive missions. As wonderful and powerful as the Hubble Space Telescope is, it cannot perform the magic trick of seeing through gas and dust any more than you can see through fog on a foggy day. Stars are generally born in regions that have a great deal of gas and dust because they're the material that stars are made out of. So uh, if uh, stars tend to die exactly where they're born, so this in the same areas that are filled with gas and dust. So if you're trying to find uh, terribly interesting objects like black holes, uh, it's necessary to penetrate through these shrouds of gas and dust. And lower energy x-rays, such as, has, as have been observed by previous missions, don't, uh, don't penetrate through this uh, dusty, gaseous region. So what New Star does is it gives us a method to sort of peel back the curtain of this uh, gas and dust and kind of cut through them and take an accurate snapshot of all the objects that are hiding in those regions.